To use Google Slides as a critique format, I usually create a Google Slideshow and usually I create it um, because I am just a little bit too nervous to let students add their own photos because I don't want anyone to accidentally delete someone else's photo. Um, so I usually create it. So students turn their photos in to Google Classroom. I pull up the folder and I usually um, place the images in the slideshow. So I usually start with the title page um, and then each slide has a different um, image on it. So we look through the images. This is a shadows and silhouettes critique. Um, as a class, the slides are displayed. We talk about them. And then the students are voting. So in this case, to vote, I usually um, share the slideshow. And when I share the slideshow link, I um, choose that it's just for my um, Traverse City Area Public Schools anyone with that link can comment. So the kids can't um, do anything else to the slideshow besides comment on it. So they can't edit it, they can't delete anything. And um, I tell them to choose three to vote on. So when they vote, they uh, pick the slide that they are voting on. They simply add a comment and I tell them to just add a star or an X and um, that gives them a comment. And that's a way that I can easily go through and count on the left-hand side here to see which photos of the week received the most votes. Um, I also have access to see um, who is voting. The students cannot see who voted for theirs because they're just commenting um, and I'm the owner, but I can look through and see um, who the votes are. So then I go through and count and I make a, another category of photos of the week and I pull those down in the bottom and we talk about um, who received photo of the week.